when you are young, I think uh, the treasure of each young people is the emotional intelligence. Because uh, you learn this profession when you are 19, 20, after the gymnasium or another way. And then you know, in Switzerland, I, I, sp I speaking about uh, our schools, then you know nothing because the eyes weren't educated during this long time. I remember that I had a lot of grammar. I had to accept that the A is written like this, this not in an other way, and I can not do it like this. Then you have to say A, not something other. And if you put this all together with time, you realize that you can say a sentence, you understand the text. <coughs> I remember when I was lying in the bed when I was very young, and my mother uh, at the evening uh, had a, a small prayer. A long time I realized only the sound when I was young. And suddenly, when I get a little bit older, I was able to understand the text. I was in contact with my profession very early. And then we are discussing together. I was not working with Rudolf Alciatti, but we were discussing about our profession. And then you, you, you learn step by step and you realized that uh, our language we built also in the city planning, not only for buildings, all is founded on geometry, at least. Geometry, all is geometry. And you, in a very abstract way, you will formulate all these lines, you know, with materials and all these things, only lines. That means that's very abstract. All over the world, the fundament of all things is the, a, a geometric plan. But it looks every time very different. And because of the next hierarchy, if, when you put the geometry in different ways together. But at the end, and, you, and people are able to formulate the whole feeling of life in each epo epoch by themselves. They have not to do reproductions. That's very important to know. But all is a variation of this uh, line, rectangular, square, a triangle, a circle. We are able, without knowing, to understand the difference, perhaps, between a mosque or an early Christian church. Because a mosque has no hierarchy inside. Every place is in the same meaning. And uh, early Christian ch church has a, a very specific hierarchy in the inner room. But the elements in the geometry are every time the same. So you can not give an answer how you learn it, but I think you have to speak about the question how I can educate my eyes. And we need our eyes for our profession. That's the point. The next point is when we trust in that, and when we trust in the spoken language, and you see, I, my English is not good, but I try to speak in a way English. And you perhaps can a little bit understand what I will say. It's not my private language. And that's the same uh, thing in the art, in the painting, sculpture, and also in our profession, in the building art. It's the same thing. If you have a private language, 
like the dekonstruktivism. Then I cannot understand, because it's a private language. The dekonstruktivism is a very good uh, uh, example to speak about, because uh, normal people today are thinking it's very full of fantasy and things like that, but it's, <laughs> but it's broke, because the language is only able to formulate some spectacular things, but every architect I know who built these houses is not lying in a bed who is like that, because it's not comfortable. And the floor is on every time horizontal, it's not like that. Classical modernism, for us, it's very easy to do. The, the ceiling, outside, the element, you have one glass, perhaps a frame or not a frame, I do not know. We have three glasses, and our frames are thick like a post. And the Renaissance architects had no building laws. They have a thick wall and they have not small rooms to do. They have only the main rooms, the kitchen, I do not know. It's in this <laughs> ground floor. They have no toilets in the house, no electricity, no eating. They have chimneys. And they said, oh, it's five to eight, it's four to eight, it's like that. And then uh, on the building side, the workers cost not a lot, the material only uh, exclusive of columns and stones, natural stones are cheap. And you can work a long time and you have the six wall and you can paint them outside also darker. So we are we have to look to the past and if uh, uh, young people today look too much to the classical modernism he cannot learn a lot by the to do some uh, uh, details and the expression so when the young people are intelligent and they are calculate with the, with the conditions of the, uh, the, the present, then they have to look also in older epochs. Which epoch is very near, we can learn a lot. And the most important thing is that you are not free, to know that you are not free. You, you build for the present and the future, but the education is in the past. And then you have to look there, which expression I need, what can I do with our condition today, and so on. You have not to put away misunderstanding. I did a lot of misunderstanding. I do not realize how good this is. I was not able to see it, because my language and my education was not as big that I can see it, I can respect the quality, but I, I, I cannot analyze it, what I have seen then. And so uh, you say, no, that's not, I'm not interesting in it, or things like that. I am interesting in this, but with time you discover more and more.